Hey, this is Darnell with D Grill and DGrillSmoke.com. Got three pounds of extra tender, as you can see there, extra tender baby back ribs. As you see there. All right, so the first step here is to get this uh, membrane off the back of the ribs. So this time I'm going to try it with. Uh, I'm going to get a little more paper towel than I had. But try it with a knife and holding the membrane that I pull off with a paper towel here. So just going to flip this over and just try and get the knife through a part here before I uh, go out to the grill with you. Just to see just how hot they get. Even though this is a time cook, it's, uh, you know, they're going to be done by the time that they reach uh, after five total hours of cooking. So I just wanted to see how hot they get, you know, how hot do 321 baby back ribs get. So I'm just going to stick a I grill 3 meat probe in here and we're just going to see how hot they actually get. Go find a spot back here in the back. Nice fatty spot. Just stick that meat probe back there. And these are so, baby back ribs are so thin. The effectiveness of a meat probe is questionable, but I just want to see anyway, just for common personal knowledge sake and your knowledge as well. So we'll go out to the grill now. All right, so I've got my ribs in. I've got them far to the right there so that uh, they won't overcook there. I'm hoping to still be able to make this a 3-2-1 cook and keep that temp under control. So I'm going to close it up and let the cook for the first three hours there. So I'm about 90 minutes into my cook and my smoker box is starting to heat up a lot. It's starting to take the temp up to a bit higher than I would like. Um, over the 300 threshold. So I'm opening it up just to kind of vent things a little. You can see the uh, you can see the ribs there. They are getting a nice red coating from the smoke, but the smoker box there making its flames is causing me a little difficulty. So this may have to be less than a three-two-one with the smoker box contributing heat. Things were staying uh, just around or below two fifty earlier. All right, the first three hours of the old 321 have passed. I'm going to open it up, let you have a look, and then I'm going to wrap it up and pour a cup of apple juice on it. Those uh, pre-soaked wood chips have all burnt out, so I'm not going to worry about doing any uh, smoking while it's wrapped up, since it wouldn't get very much anyway, but I'm going to give you a tighter shot of it. All right, we are 90 minutes into the two part of the three, two, one. We've already done three. We're into the two hour uh, wrap part and we're 90 minutes into that. So another 30 minutes to go. And I wanted to put some fresh wood chunks in early before unwrapping it so that those wood chunks can start uh, getting close to smoking so that I might be able to get a little smoke at the end in that last hour. Um, although I grilled Three's ambient probe is showing 245. I just want to show you what the hood is saying. The hood is actually saying that we're right about spot on 225. So that's just an interesting discrepancy there in the temp. I will say for the meat temperature, it's cooking right along just fine. It's not like it's been overcooked to, um, to any degree for slow and low. So I think we're doing pretty good. So I'm going to grab my tool and then I'm going to go ahead and get that smoker box open and start putting these wood chunks in. Alright, so the two hour part of 321 is done. We've done three, we've done two. Although uh, I grill three is showing a temp of about 235 degrees. The hood, for anyone wondering, is showing a little over 200, just under 225. I will say, um, don't get too crushed about that. You know, temperature gauging is kind of an approximation, and 
if you got it roughly uh, roughly right, you're going to be okay. And both the hood and the ambient probe get it roughly right. So on the iGrow screen that I'm showing you, the temperature probe is probe four. If you didn't already know, probe three is the meat probe. Um, since the two-hour part is done, I'm going to take those ribs out now and set them on the grate open for an hour and just let them set open. Alright, since it's getting a little later in the evening here and you can hear the wonderful sounds of nature going on there. I'm just going to just turn it just a little above the quarter just to make sure that it stays at 225 because I think things are nearing getting below 225 at this point because it's getting uh, dark and getting a little cooler. I'll let you know what the weather is here now for this last hour of the cook. It is currently 83 degrees, so we've gone down some. Real fuel is 81. The humidity 31%, wind 4 miles an hour. Bring you back in one hour, and we'll see what the finished product looks like from this 321 slow and low of the baby back ribs on the Weber Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill. Alright, um, it's been an hour. So the 321 is all finished as far as time. Interestingly enough, the eye grill showed the meat temp going down from 160 to 150. I don't get that, but I just brought another uh, meat thermometer just to do another check. So let's see what we have here. And the meat is just pulling back from the bone just a little in some areas. So. Uh, let me see if I can give you a closer view. It's just pulling back a little in some areas, but I'm going to give it a poke with uh, another meat thermometer just to give it a check. It's saying the temp is uh, in the 140 range. So they're reading a little low. The meat's not pulling back a lot from the bone. I think I'm just going to crank it up on the heat and let it finish cooking so that it reaches that uh, 160 on the meat. So I'm going to crank this heat up to maybe 300, 350. I'm going to crank the heat up to halfway here. The smoker box is getting going, so things are going to get hot in there. And I'll come back when it's at 160. All right, so you know at the last check, I turned the heat up a little since things were still a little uh, less than well as far as the cooking. So after 30 minutes, just turn it up and wait in 30 minutes, things went up to 160. So heated up real quick after turning that heat up a little bit. So just going to open up here and have a look. As you can see on the dial though, um, the temp on the dial was just a little less than 300 according to the dial, but we never really went over 300 um, things just as I was capturing the screen on the eye grill just uh, just went up to like 300 301 but it was really below 300 that uh, time it was heating up there so here's what we have our finished product I'm gonna get close in on that See that meat is uh, nice and red. Getting a little more pull away from the bone. You can see it's trying to pull away from the bone some more. So I'm going to get that off. I'm going to take it in and it's going to be taste test time. Alright, so those ribs are happy and safe inside. I'm going to uh, back up the camera here and do the official taste testing. Let me get my camera adjusted. I'm just going to bite right into one to do a taste test. I'm 
and tastes great. Very tender, moist, nice, perfect. So, it took three, two, one and a half. Just had to crank it up a little bit there at the end, but turned out great. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel. You can share the video with your friends, and there'll be a full link to the entire recipe under this video, and good eating.